Let's assess this project before we begin sketching, just so we understand what types of lines we need to draw. There are intensively planted areas with large trees. There's also lawn space along the path edges. And then we have this very distinctive graphic black and white paving. Uh, we also have a water feature over here with a concrete upright wall element seen here. Some of the planted areas are a bit raised and I'm thinking that we'll enhance that in our drawing so we get a better understanding of topography modeling in Rhino. We won't be using any detailed planting, but we will put in some basic trees and people silhouettes to give a populated feel to the model. There's an edge here where the water is below the planting and we'll create a topography for the base of the water feature. There is also a planted area here that's intersecting with a path. And along the edge of the garden, we have hedges of different sizes marking the outline. We can't really tell what's going on underneath these big trees here, but I can see that there is some kind of a grade change um, here with this staircase. That's not going to be something that we pay a lot of attention to. We will focus more so on the line work and modeling and the topography within the garden itself. I'll start off our sketch by giving you an overview of all the different methods we're going to use to draft our project. Let's start off to the side here to demonstrate. Quick tip, if you want to pan over, press shift and the right mouse button. One easy way to draft shapes is through the rectangle command. REC is the command and you can select a start and end point. Pretty simple. L is the next command. L is for line. Click anywhere to begin and click again to end. We can draw a line that's unconstrained in any direction, but if you want to constrain the line so that it, it is along straight edges, you can press shift while you're drawing and it will constrain it to whatever you have your ortho angle set to. You can check that by right clicking here. Mine is set to 15. You can change this to any value, but we'll keep it at 15 for now. PL is for polyline. That is the next command. This creates a joined series of vertices with straight lines between them. You can click as many points as you like, but the lines will always be straight, not curved. Again, if you want to constrain the angle, press shift and you will stick to your set ortho angles. There's also a handy tool called Smart Track. So if you hover over another endpoint, it will temporarily show a guideline that you can use to match your endpoints. And I turn this on and off as I need it. To draw curves or splines, you can use a control point curve here. You set the points by clicking around and Rhino interpolates a curve in between the points, but not directly through them. That's great if you want a very loose curve and you're not following a specific set guideline. But if we want more control over how our curve is set, we will use the second command, interpolate points. Here, we set the points just like we do with the polyline and Rhino draws directly through each point. This allows us greater control, especially while tracing. Another tool I toggle on and off is the gumball. This is a multimodal tool that allows you to move and rotate elements in a controlled way. The red arrow controls the x-axis and the green arrow controls the y-axis. We can use this instead of the move command to quickly arrange elements or control points as we draw. I'll draw a cross line here and show you the offset command. Press O for offset and choose through point, either by clicking on the menu or pressing T. This allows us to offset a line through any point we choose on the drawing plane. We can exercise greater control using the offset distance command. O for offset, choose distance and put in 25. Let's do this again for five meters on the other side. Quick sidebar on making selections in Rhino. If we drag a box from the upper left corner to the lower right, that's called a selection window. Everything that is completely contained within that window will be selected. If we go the opposite direction, we create a crossing window. This means that everything the lines touch will be selected, not just the elements that are completely contained. I'll be using these intuitively here on in, so I thought I would mention the difference. Let's learn the trim command. If I want to make a clear path here, I can select both lines by pressing shift and clicking the lines, which allows me to select multiples. The command TR is for trim. Now these elements are our cutting objects and everything in between them can be cut away just by clicking on the lines. A counterpoint to this is the extend command. 
Let's use the gumball to move these lines down and then type EX for extend. Select the boundary objects, there can be multiple boundaries, and press enter. Then select the lines to extend. It will automatically stop when it hits the first boundary, but clicking again will continue extending to the next boundary and the next. Another basic drafting command is the fillet command. This is used to create corners from two intersecting lines. Press F for fillet. If we keep the radius at zero, we'll end up with a sharp corner. But if we change it to a larger radius, like five meters, we will have a much larger, more gently rounded corner that's similar to what you might see on a road curb. A smaller radius of one meter is a tight curve, more typical of sidewalks and planting edges. To join any series of curves into a polyline, select multiple lines by clicking them and holding down shift. Then use J for join. If the line edges are coplanar and all set to the same Z depth, they will join with no issues. One issue we might run into is not being able to extrude curves because they're open. Let's say you want to close off these curves to create a closed polyline. Maybe you accidentally didn't have your snaps on and the endpoints aren't matched up. If you select all the lines and join them, we see it creates an open curve. Let's use the command close curve to remedy this. Rhino will automatically draw a short line to close the polyline. It's a very useful command. How do we use control points? If we select some of these polylines and splines, we see that control points show up. We can manipulate the points, vertices, and curves by dragging these points around. As long as we're in planar space, the points should be dragging only in the X and Y direction. All right, one last thing before we begin this sketch, that's to double check that all of our curves are in the same plane. Now we've been drawing with the planar turned on, but what would happen if you forgot to do this and you ended up with lines in a different Z index? Let's test it out. Use the move command M, select vertical and move a line up. We can also use M, enter, and V enter, or turn on the gumball to move in the Z direction. Now we see that in our front viewport, these lines are no longer planar. So let's select all the line work and use the command set PT. Uncheck the X and Y axis. We only want to control the Z axis here. Make sure world is selected and then click a point where you want to flatten all the curves to. Now we're back on a flat planar surface. A quick note on layers. They are all set up to correspond to the colors on the plan sketch. So dark green planting matches the dark green planting areas, pink planting layers match the pink areas, orange to orange, etc. I'm going to use all the different commands that I just showed you, but I'm going to speed up this next part of the process. So you can watch through it and watch me draft out this plan, then try it yourself. Don't forget to save your file periodically. And if you need to pause the video just to check out the commands I'm using, remember to look at the command line and see what's happening.
Okay, we have all the lines down here on the plan, and if we turn off our default layer, we can see that we have a pretty good base for line work. And in the next video, we're gonna take that line work and begin to create surfaces and begin to create topography.